do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos as mentioned on your screen there is a numerical which is based on average atomic mass so let us see the numerical and let's see how can we calculate the particular asked question so that they have given they, that the atomic mass of boron that is for boron 10 and the other isotope is boron 11 are 10.0129 uh, unified mass while that of the other one that is for uh, boron 11 is given as 11.009 unified mass if the abundance of the isotope is present in 19.1 percentage and 80.9 uh, percentage for this both isotopes respectively then what we have to do is we have to calculate the average atomic mass of boron so the first thing that we should do is we should extract the data and we should extract and we should assemble in such a way that it would be very much easy for us to calculate and because of that only we could get a very good marks and you won't be getting confused so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to extract the data so let us see how can we extract so in this process there are two types of isotopes that they have been mentioned the first isotope is for boron 10 so the for boron 10 the uh, atomic mass of this is nothing but that they have given as 10.0129 unified mass while that of for boron 11 they have given us the atomic mass of 11.009 unified mass but when i talking when i talk about abundance then i could see that for boron 10 the abundance is given to be somewhere around 19.1 percentage while that of for boron 11 again the abundance is given to be somewhere around 80.9 percentage so these are the details that we have extracted from the given question and now the thing that we have to do is we have to uh, write a formula and the thing is we are going to substitute these values in it and it would be very much easy to calculate the average atomic mass of this particular boron so let us see uh, the formula first so the formula is very much simple so suppose i could write it in this way that is for average atomic mass of boron i could write it in this way like uh, atomic mass of boron 10 multiply by its abundance that is for abundance of beta so i would write it in this way that is abundance for b10 i'll add this with atomic mass of of b11 and i will multiply this with uh, abundance of b11 and this whole thing should be divided by 100 so this is the thing that we have got and now what we have to do is we have to substitute the values that we have evaluated from the given question so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to substitute the values so the atomic mass of b10 which was given to be that is 10.0129 while that of the abundance of b10 was given to be uh, that is 19.1 and for b11 the uh, atomic mass was given as 11.009 while that of the abundance of b11 that is for boron 11 isotope was given to be 80.9 percentage and this whole thing will be now divided by 100 so let us see what is the answer that we could get so the answer that we have got is 10.8 one but since this is average atomic mass so therefore the unit or the magnitude should be unified mass so therefore the answer would be having a unit of u 
So this is how we have calculated the average atomic mass when two isotopes are being mentioned or when, when many isotopes would be mentioned it would be very much easy to calculate. So this is the answer that we have got that is the average atomic mass of the boron is nothing but 10.81 unit unified mass. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you, you have got an idea that how to solve this kind of numericals. So share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe eGeta channel. Thank you so much.